right from the outset, NARI began to get involved in the regulatory, administrative, and ultimately legislative uh, changes that uh, uh, the, the industry would find that it needed in order to be able to adapt and grow. In other words, I think the major contribution that NARI has uh, made to the industry is its uh, source as an industry-wide voice for administrative, regulatory, and legislative changes that uh, have brought the industry to where it is today. Some of the more practical challenges um, were how to operate um, this highly arcane, intensely limited, restricted uh, entity if you wanted to get the tax advantage that uh, the REIT Tax Act uh, provided. Um, so dealing with, uh, dealing with operating problems uh, and limitations has always, in the early years, was always a challenge. I think the major change that listed REITs have done to the commercial real estate uh, uh, investment scene in this country has been to put um, professional managers in charge of, of portfolios of properties that they knew well and that were primarily f uh, funded in the early years through one-off financing rather than vehicle-wide financing. I think that there are two most important events in the history of the REIT industry. The first was its formation 50 years ago, and the second, the fact that we're all here today 50 years later. One of the most underrated events in the history of the REIT industry is, or underappreciated, is the fact that uh, mortgage REITs, uh, that mortgages are included in the definition of real estate assets that a qualifying REIT can hold. Uh, the original REIT tax legislation passed in the mid-50s by Congress but vetoed by President Eisenhower limited real estate assets to real estate equities. Um, probably because uh, the mortgage um, industry would be another ally in going back to Congress uh, for the successful uh, act of 1960, uh, mortgages were included in the uh, definition of real estate assets. Um, the industry um, today is primarily known for its uh, uh, ownership of real estate equities and hard assets, but uh, certainly the history of the industry is replete with um, very successful and some not very successful examples of, uh, of companies formed to in, for collective investment in mortgages.